If you are starting on batteries and there is no ECAM indications available, check out this Compass Swing when you select the master switch. Hello pilots, welcome back to the channel. Today we talk about APU, the auxiliary power unit. It's a self-contained unit that supplies the aircraft with pneumatic and electrical power. Question, how to start the APU? Well, you can start it using the aircraft batteries or ground service. On the ground, it will provide bleed air to start the engine and also for air conditioning. Do check out my video on pneumatic system and also provide electrical juice to the aircraft. If the APU is switched on during takeoff, it will supply bleed air for air conditioning so that the aircraft can achieve optimum aircraft performance. In flight, it can be used for three things as an electrical backup. Do check out my video on electrical system for air conditioning and also to start engines. When you switch on the master switch, the electronic control box, the ECB will power up. The flap will open up to allow air to come in. The APU fuel valve opens and then when you press the APU start switch, the starter will power up electrically and the APU starts powering up. What is the role of the ECB? It's just a computer to monitor the start sequence, speed, temperature, and bleed air of the APU. In addition, it controls the automatic shutdown of the APU. Another thing to note is that the APU uses fuel from the left fuel feed line and has its own APU fuel pump just in case pressure is not available. Do check out my video on the fuel system. The APU also have their own independent lubrication system for, well, lubrication and also cooling. The ECB always sets the APU speed to 100%. The only time the APU speed is 99% is when the temperature is between minus 18 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius. Question, how do you shut down the APU in case of emergency? There are two ways. For emergency shutdown, the pilots can push the APU fire handle or the ground crew can push the APU shut off push button on the interphone panel under the nose fuselage. If you are on the ground, the APU is a responsible young adult it can run without supervision. Why? Number one, there will be APU fire warnings. Number two, a horn on the nose bay will sound. Number three, the avail light goes out. Number four, fault light on master switch lights up. Number five, APU shut down. Number six, the APU fire extinguisher will discharge. Now, let us look at the overhead panel. Master switch push button. On means there is electric power to the APU system. ECB is performing a power-up test. The APU air intake flap and fuel isolation valve opens. If no fuel tank pump is running, the APU fuel pump takes over. APU page appears on the ECAP off and the APU will still run for 60 to 120 seconds to cool down if we are using APU bleed air and at 7% the air inlet flap closes. Fault light comes on when there is a caution on ECAM or APU automatic shutdown which can happen because of a list of reasons longer than my middle finger. Let us talk 
about the start switch. On and the blue light comes on. Once the flaps is completely open, the starter is energized. 1.5 seconds, the starter is energized, the ignition turns on. When N equals to 60%, the APU starter is de-energized, the ignition is turned off. Then 2 seconds after N reaches 95% or when N is above 99.5%, on light goes out to be replaced with the avail light. 10 seconds later, APU ECAM page disappear. Okay, let's see the ECAM APU page. Avail in green when APU speed is above 95%. APU bleed air valve position. Inline green when APU bleed air valve is not closed. Cross line green means it is closed. Amber means the valve is closed but the APU bleed is on. Double cross amber when status info is not available. Relative bleed air pressure in green. Double cross amber when ADIRS1 or ADIRS2 is not available or data from ECB is invalid. APU generator line contactor in green when it is closed. APU generator parameters. Fuel low pressure appear in amber when well, self-explanatory. Flap open is green when it is fully open and advisory if flap is not fully closed 3 minutes after the master switch has been turned off. APU rotation speed becomes amber when the rotation speed is more than 102% and red when N rotation is more than 107%. APU EGT will become amber when EGT is more than EGT max minus 33 degrees Celsius and red when EGT is more than EGT max and this is where the automatic shutdown begins. Question, what is the maximum EGT during start? Do comment below if you know the answer. You get a low oil level message when the ECB detects a low oil level on the ground and when the APU is not running. APU avail will appear in the memo display when end rotation is above 95%. If you are starting on batteries and there is no ECAM indications available, Check out this compass swing when you select the master switch.